It's turn two, and germs have moved. And these are, this video will just be a quick snippet of their potential attacks, and then we'll uh, roll for the results and come back. But I wanted to show you what each army group and core was doing. So we've got one attack in this area. And then two attacks here where we had the breakthrough in turn one. We pushed the units back here a little bit. So we've got uh, a pretty nice attack here, although they pulled a 16 for defense. So hopefully the columns will work out okay there. Here, I think I've got a pretty good, uh, actually we need to pull a chit for that. Let's do that. It's a C1, I think. So he's only got one. Well, that's going to hurt uh, for the Soviets in any case. And then the fourth Panzer Army here is, uh, and the, with the, the ninth and the fortieth are going to power into here. Didn't have a real plan for that attack, other than I want to try and cut these units off here, make a little pocket, and potentially clear this road or at least force this as a major means of making uh, the rest of the line pull back a little bit. They've got this road here that is a, a key junction. And then uh, this road here runs back to Moscow as well. That's another one that I'm, I'm keen on, but that's pretty, pretty difficult terrain. So the next uh, attacks in map B, uh, it's also against a C-rated tank unit. And the Soviets have applied corresponding air. I've got some good modifiers on that one though. A bunch of column shifts. Here the Soviets have put extra air. And will uh, be, these guys will be fighting unsupported. So their attack strength will be halved. Uh, no combats down here until we get to uh, Serpukhov, Serpukhov. That's a five point victory hex, VP hex. We want that hex. And uh, Soviets made a mistake here and, and left, a, left a hole. They also left a hole here. So a couple of sloppy placements, uh, placements by the Soviets. And I thought I'd try and, uh, down on map C, uh, try and put some uh, pressure here and really try and put a a wrap around Tula and try and get it isolated so they can reduce the defensive values because that's a, that's going to be a tough nut to crack with an A1. And then down here I had most of the 24th Army's, uh, the 2nd Panzer Army's 24th Corps here uh, threatening to attack Tula. They're not in supply until next turn, in fact until the end, I think the end of turn 3. So. I may as well see if we can get a little breakthrough action going here, then why not uh, power on this way and see what happens and we can try and stretch the Soviet line a little bit. Well, that's a quick summary. I'll roll some dice and we'll see what happens.